day, brothers and sisters. Uh, it is uh, so good to connect with you. I hope that uh, you are keeping well, uh, staying close to God uh, during this uh, difficult time uh, of lockdown. Um, I hope that uh, you are finding strength in His Word. Uh, we wanted to uh, share a series of uh, devotionals with you um, titled uh, Daily God or God Daily. Uh, and, and the concept is really just to uh, uh, force ourselves during this difficult time to focus on um, uh, just staying close to God on a daily basis. And, and the idea that, um, you know, God has given us today and, uh, you know, today has enough uh, troubles of its own. And uh, if we wake up, uh, it's a blessing. If we uh, can be close to God, we can love him and pray and read his word and um, and, and, and have our daily provision uh, that we, we try as much as possible to force ourselves uh, to stay in the moment uh, as opposed to wanting to project forward or, uh, you know, read all kinds of things that want us to worry about, you know, what is going on, uh, you know, 10 days from now, you know, a month from now, two months from now, uh, which is such a big temptation for all of us. You know, our scripture for today uh, is based in uh, Psalm 68, and um, I want to read for you um, uh, uh, Psalm 68, uh, and we're just going to do just two verses, um, uh, verse uh, 19 and, and 20. The Bible says, uh, Praise be to the Lord, to God our Savior, who daily bears our burdens. Our God is a God who saves. From the sovereign Lord comes escape from death. Uh, my wife is going to share a, a few thoughts. Amen. Uh, it's great to connect with all of you guys. Uh, certainly hope you are enjoying time with your family at this time. I know for me, uh, this lockdown has just revealed uh, really just how daily God is. And that all we have is today and that all he wants me to concern myself is just today. Uh, I think my mind, on the other hand, wants to jump ahead, you know, all the time. I can feel burdened by getting my son caught up uh, with his schoolwork. I can feel the disparities uh, in our society between the poor and the rich, and that can really just make me feel burdened. Uh, the many needs that pop up, um, what will the church look like? I think I can feel the burden of that. Um, that the realization that the virus is no longer just out there, it's in our midst, it's affecting people that we know and love and care deeply for. Uh, but I think it's just been amazing to recognize that if I just allow God to walk with me daily, that I find peace, uh, that I'm content with just today. Um, you know, that I think just for us to think about what are the things that burden us um, and are we casting them to God daily because we genuinely believe that daily he bears our burdens. And I do hope that each day you can look out and think about how do I see God today? Mm. What are the things about God that I see today that make me uh, encouraged and that make me feel loved by Him? Amen. Thank you. Uh, we will uh, be uh, sending out uh, a few uh, of these uh, devotionals uh, over the next couple of days. Uh, we hope that uh, you stay strong, you stay in the Word, uh, and that you take courage in knowing that uh, our God, our Lord, our Savior, uh, He will uh, be the one who will carry us uh, through this difficult time. Uh, to God be the glory. Amen. We love you.